Mm, hello, teacher Erica. My name is Johan. Today I'll be reading uh, Wen Zixi. Uh, from Reading Street, from page thirty-five to page thirty-seven. Why it was one piece, a very large, a very large book. I raised it up slowly and I aimed it carefully, and I threw it right at the bear and screamed, "Be gone!" And do you know what happened? And do you know what? No, mom, I said. He went. But this is what I will never forget. He took the book with him. Nah, I said. Yes, mom. Said Miss Friendly. He snatched it up and ran. Did he come back? I asked. No, I never saw him again. Well, the man in town used to tease me about it. They used to say, "Miss Friendly, we saw that bear of yours out in the woods today. He was reading that book, and he said it sure was good. And would it be all right if he kept it for just for another week?" Yes, ma'am. They did tease me about it. She sighed. I imagine I'm the only one left from those days. I imagine I'm the only one that even recalls that bear. All my friends, everyone I knew, when I was young, they are all dead and gone. She sighed again. She looked sad and old and wrinkled. It was the same way I felt sometimes being friendless in a new town and not having a mama to comfort me. I sighed too, Miss. When Dixie raised his head off of his paws and looked back and forth between me and Miss Franny, he sat up and showed Miss Franny his teeth. Well, now look at that," she said. "That dog is smiling at me. It's a talent of his," I told her. "It is a fine talent," Miss Franny said. "A very fine talent." And she smiled back at Win Dixie. We could all be friends. I、uh, I said to Miss Franny. I mean, you and me and Win Dixie. We could all be friends. Miss Franny smiled even bigger. Why, that would be grand, she said. Just grand. And right at the time, right when three of us had decided to be friends, who should came, who should come marching into the Herman W. Block Memorial Library, but old, old pent-faced. Amanda Wilkinson. She walked right up to Miss Franny's desk and said, "I finished Johnny Tr- Truman. I finished Johnny Truman, and I enjoyed it very much. I would like something even more difficult to read now because I am an advanced reader." "Yes, dear, I know," said Miss Franny. She got up out of her chair. Amanda pretended like I wasn't there. She stared right past me. Are dogs allowed in the library? She asked Miss Franny as they walked. Certain ones, said Miss Franny. A select few. And then she turned around and winked at me. I smiled back. I had just made my first friend in Naomi, and nobody was going to mess that up for me. Not even old pinch-faced Amanda Wilkinson. Thank you for listening.